Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I just logged into Warframe. I was wondering what we should cover because there's so many things to talk about in this game and it's ever lasting and just honestly a little too much at times. But I went to my communications and we seen that our friend, Barrow Katir, whatever his face, is here once again. Now, is has it really been two weeks? God, I thought it's only been one week. Regardless, he's here. Thank God. Jesus Christ, man. It's been a pain. <laughs> a pain because every time he's came, come here, he's had the uh, the premium mods that I don't need um, or want, really. He's had one that seemed pretty nice. It's the Melee Reach one, but eh, <laughs> I'm not sure it's entirely necessary on that one. But, uh, yeah, let's just go, I just want to go see if, uh, see if what he has. And then we'll do something as well, just to kind of chip away the things, the thousands of things that I have to do. Wait, before we do that, I forgot that's why I was running around, running down there. I I really want to see what that uh, what that one thing is that we started cooking yesterday is on. It is this. We started cooking this, which is three hours, and then we can play with it. But that is so far away, and this is nine hours. Nine hours. Shit. Um, also, I really want to play with these ones. I'm not sure if they're good, but they look fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, um, I'm looking for anything like prime continuity. Prime stretch or whatever prime premium things that affect the stats that I th want right now Which will probably change but then again the ones that the reason why I didn't pick the previous ones the previous uh, Mods that he had was because not a lot of them were anything that I needed like a lot of it was like bonus damage to infected Bonus damage to corpus bonus damage to Grenier, but I'm like ah, I'm not sure if I out of all the builds I've seen I haven't seen too many of that. Oh, is this because I partnered with the people I, I, I chose the faction that is like the evil Lord of fire and void and all that kind of people these people these people <laughs> those are my people who I chose to partner with Listen, <laughs> it's because they have mods They use my latest safari in the void has yielded spectacular finds Unique items for the tenor of distinction Good, I hope so You are a tenor of greater tastes. I can tell just by looking at you. Okay, we got these. Okay, okay. Uh, what about this? Prime magazine capacity. Okay, and, and. Prime critical chance, okay. Yes, I think we actually do want that one. Maybe. <laughs> I, maybe not, I think we want damage, but I, I'll spend that 400. How much points do I have? I have enough. I think that's right. <laughs> it's one of the ones that we want. A pleasure doing business with you, Tenno. Um, the magazine size. I don't, I don't know if we want the magazine size per se, but it exists. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But he does some he sells some other things. Ooh, a redeemer skin, eh? I kind of hate it, but all uh, right, <laughs> all right. It's all just red, sure. Ooh, but he does give us some glasses. And I hate it more. <laughs> Never mind. As for these, I don't know. I don't think. Yeah, it's crazy that those are the same price as that. In fact, they're more money. Why? Why are they more money? I'm not sure if we want the 55 of that. But uh, I'm going to go sell some of my shitty duplicate blueprints. Um, even though we do need some that are duplicate. So, I don't know. I am not certain, but let's just start with that. that. That way we can buy another mod next time it comes around. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. <laughs> and they're moving on. Alright, so we just got a prime critical chance mod. Now I do think critical damage is better because I think that's how people build their weapons typically is to go into critical, uh, what is it, like critical, uh, the weapon itself has critical chance. They buff that with like a basic ass critical chance mod and then they give you a better uh, critical damage uh, thing. I think that's what they usually do. So, probably not the best mod, but it's our first weird ultra thing, <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but maybe people have added that onto things. Again, I don't think that's typically how it works, but out of all those ones, I think that was the one that I probably wanted because I haven't seen anyone use magazine size. I think I would be fine with just reloading, you know? But anyways, maybe it's like there's like a weapon where it's like the longer you hold down the trigger, the more damage it deals. It could be pretty nutty, but then again, you're just chewing through magazine or ammunition. And you can't be using your abilities while you're firing, so that seems like a weird gun. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us... Well, we, basically, I was grinding a lot for the uh, these like special tiny kind of like capsule, like it's like a fuel, a fuel cell. It hasn't re We haven't really needed it. In fact, the one thing that we do need, honestly, right now is uh, Xenoric lenses. Which I've been farming the uh, goddamn Earth Citus weirdness for ages, and it's and I've got nothing, nothing. 
Um, I'm trying to get Xenor, like, this is the only, I'm pretty sure this is one of the only ways you can get Xenoric, uh, lenses, which lenses basically get, lets you build affinity, which you can then, therefore, spend that affinity into your skill tree, basically, it's like your skill points, but it requires, like, a thousand, uh, points, or, like, 80,000 points per upgrade, so it's a lot, uh, but it's also something that's always there whenever you're playing any objective game where you're killing things, so it's just, yeah, but the more lenses you have on your, your shit, your guns, your Warframe, uh, means the better you will be at gaining that ex exper experience. Hey, then. I give you coordinates. You bounties. You work. The good news is these bounties refresh every like two hours or something. So neat. Also, what this is level level thirty. This was level 40? 20 to forty. Hot diggity. Anyways, we're gonna check the rewards. We have no Xenoric lenses here, or just no lenses. Period. We have no Z uh, lenses here either. What? But here. Ma Maderal lenses, as well as some mm, charming things like shield capacity. That's not great. Ooh, converts ammo pickup or priming weapon. That may be pretty good. Vigilance, vigilance supply. Yeah, that might be, that might be something we want for a build in the future. But anyways, this mm, Ura and Mad. Yeah, that one. Ah, uh, ooh, ooh, reach ability, a range. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> range. <laughs> Voice did a weird thing. Range. Mm, not sure I want that. Combo duration, that probably seems pretty good. Well, this one just seems good to just do, just if we're gonna do any mod thing. Ooh, none. Yay! <laughs> none. We got no Xenoric, but we could just do this real quick. Alrighty, yo, see you soon. See you soon too, my friend. You take care of yourself and be a good dude. What? I don't know. <laughs> you just get it. Oh, also, I, I changed, I reformatted Octavia's song to where it is still the La 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 song, except now there's just an uh, endless ha <laughs> out in the center bit so that I can easily get my, my cloak up. Which hasn't changed like the nice tune of the song where it's like, you know, see? It's like ha. <laughs> That's fine. That works for me, baby. Oof, almost hitting the water. I really hate that when you touch like touch the water in this place, it like destroys your power. It's like all these warframes are gods amongst men. They're like these crazy soldiers. But the if they touch water, they just completely malfunction. Completely. Like entirely. You think the corpus and all that would put that together and just like use water guns, basically. But no. I can't hear my beautiful songs. Oh, damn it. It is so loud and Taxon died? Really? Come on, Taxon, you fucking trash. The only thing that sucks though is if you want like a version of the music, you have to actually put him on. So it doesn't play the full song without him being present. Which sucks is it'll take my defense ball away from me and get me killed. Which is less good. Alright, we're gonna have to start killing things. So we gotta go in, uh, invisible and start using melee. Although, I, I find whenever you do high-end missions, people are like, You don't have to do anything. <laughs> I got it. Give me that power. It only lasts like two seconds. <laughs> but I got it. I got that power. Damn, with Taxon not here, man, you really have to be like right on top of these little power cells in order to get them. And it sucks quite a lot. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> this is honestly, I'm usually listening to a podcast, so all the sounds make it really like... Oh shit, it's World War fucking 2. Oh, did we get nuded? We got a nerd, whatever it's called. Ooh! We got Arger Reach. That's the one I wanted. The one that gives me, I think, extended reach, dude. Because, yeah, there's like reach and then there's like augers, which are. Oh, a bunch of shit. Oh, look at me, I can fly because I have fucking a guild or whatever and I can build that shit. I hate you all <laughs> so much. <laughs> All by myself, but it's kind of funny, right? I do it for the humor. Yeah, because it's funny watching me run across the map the whole time when they arrive immediately. I mean, I'm always fashionably late. Like, it's not like I ruined, like, I, I'm not a teammate, which is nice, but, but it is significantly not as helpful if I were just to bite the bullet and be like, hey, hey, could there anybody, like, I think there's forums you can go on to be like, hey, does anyone have, like, a clan that, like, I can just make two things and then get out? Like, I only need that from you. I'll build something. I have like, like a chill, a drill, a, you know, a lot of resources. <laughs> I'm saying, I have a lot of resources I could just dump into some sort of factory if you need that from me. Ooh, our hive mind queen is definitely pretty pissed. 
Oh, she's it's in the ground. But they got him. Yeah, I'm sure. pretty sure a lot of you guys would be mad at me for the guild that I chose, but though. I'd like the weird, not guild, sorry. It's like there's loyalty people who I've pledged my loyalty to. It's the people who are like the, they seem like really not my, like, you know how when like the, the best gear is hidden behind the worst people in the video game? And they're like, we want to burn the whole world alive. And it's like, whoa, dude, that seems pretty hard, hard, awful. What's your problem? Um, but then they have like the best mods and you're like, <laughs> I'm going to get what I need. I'm going to get out. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get, hopefully there's no ramifications. Although there is because, because if you invest in one person, you de-invest, de-invest in another. So I'm at like minus negative to whatever the hell these other people are. And I know it's going to come back to bite me in the ass because they're going to have something I need and I'm going to have to like grind my face off in the other direction. It sucks. Look how fast I can move. I'm so... Look at that. <laughs> ah! Oh, did we get the other one I wanted? Holy shit, we just got both of the mods I needed. We only needed this once. Sometimes you're gonna, you always get like endo and you're like, kill me. <laughs> Why is there so much endo? Go to the wrong place. Ooh. Lotus is like, they're trying to feel better about their losses and, and regrouping and all that stuff. You're gonna find where they are. You're gonna take those supplies, burn it in front of their eyes, realize that there's no, there's no escaping this. You're sitting in this. You're sitting in this despair. And you're like, Jesus Christ, Lotus. I mean, we're just trying to like, Win a war, I guess, but like, you don't have to fucking be a demon about it, you know? Like, just Jesus Christ, or maybe not a demon, who knows? Maybe demons are chill, I don't know. But let's, like, you know, this, this, fuck it, this too, because I want to listen to the music. See, that's the thing that sucks. Is like the uh, the La 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 song has like the the hook, the chorus is like La La La, <laughs> but after like the beat happens, but now it's just La La La, <laughs> so that that chorus doesn't exist. <laughs> but I'll have the safety of this. That is. <laughs> Got it, Lotus. Do you? I believe in you. You point me in the direction. I am a blindless uh, killing drone mo thing. It'll, yeah. They did it immediately. Holy shit, these people grind. Alright, well, I'm leaving to sit this. You guys are too good at this game, and, and if I was playing normally, I'd be over overjoyed that you I had a group like this. Because these motherfuckers would be grinding like crazy. Look how fast they're moving to their goddamn point. Oh, I gotta look into how to get the damn flying kite i think you need a i'm almost certain you need a damn guild like to make it in like the the sanction what is it called tenno dojo that's what it's called we need a dojo per place is two enough to it is two a uh, 58 six seconds <laughs> 50 seconds don't get back i spit all over my own face just now Ugh. don't look at me <laughs> don't look at me in my filth but i'm not sure is auger duration or auger reach better Mm, cuz the auger reach I feel like gives us a, like two more seconds. You know what I mean? I feel like it has diminishing returns after a bit, but I also feel like I have health that I don't need. You know? That, that's also cuz I I'm I shouldn't have that much health. I should have a different mod that kind of is a similar to health. But it's basically like uh what is it called? It's like a it, 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 it's like Atlas Atlas is like the guy who who's in the thumbnail of the of the mod. But I think it's anytime you take damage it it gives you a stack of resistant to that damage. Um, so it just makes you harder to kill. Or is it a mod that like gives you 10 seconds of like immunity? I think it's that one. Three seconds, baby, but I made it. I, I trimmed off those two seconds. Hey, it pays to not have a, a kite, right? Or whatever that thing is. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but it is what it is. But I got both them damn mods, unless I didn't because it crashed. No, look at that. New auger puncher. Didn't need that, but I did want auger range, baby. 80, 80 of energy spent is converted to shields. Uh, so yeah, if I, if I run that I, and I invest in shields, then that probably would be better off, right? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I got. I got more leaving. I'm gonna leave the party. And I'm gonna leave. Also, I have. I still haven't done the mastery test because I haven't looked to see what it demands of me. Um, the ones I really don't like are stealth ones. If, if they could just keep doing ones where it's like kill things, I'm like yes, <laughs> done. I have weapons now that I think can manage to some extent. Um, but what am I rocking now with with Oct Octavia right now in terms of her mods? 
Um, I think I built for a great deal of duration, which is that one. Oh, no, right, Bil ability strength is also what I fucked with. So I think we could take away ability strength and add some sort of, uh... Yeah, I feel like... Guys, okay, so aug auger duration, 24, that's not that much, but it's dumb something. Uh, I think we're gonna take away auger strength. That's 24, this is 30. Is that is that seven points of intensity really better than the addition of also having it, the thing where it's like any energy spent on abilities is converted to shields? Uh, which Octavia does a lot because I'm constantly spamming out those abilities. So maybe this one. Yeah, let's take away this one because maybe that shield survivability could go a long way. Um, I do want to change. Uh, first of all, let's put on Augur Reach because that's like a poor man's premium Augur Reach or whatever it's called. But um, I think I should change the vitality one to the other one that I have. That's like uh, vigor. And then that way I get more shield capacity. Uh, and maybe there is one that's just shield. Ooh, there is. <laughs> there is one that's just all in the shield. Maybe we should just use that one then. Yee. Uh, <laughs> no. See, now we got 36 shield capacity, maybe. And now we also have the ability of uh, of whenever we spend some energy, we put that right back into our motherfucking shield, dude. So now we just want to go over here to Augur Reach. And we're going to have not a great amount, not like a crazy amount of reach, but it's going to be something, I think. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that gives us a ridiculous amount of range. So now when I put, my, I put down my dome, <laughs> it's just like, no, motherfucker, you're not coming anywhere near me. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> again, right now, um, I didn't really know that this was a thing, but there's your base, uh, your, your base stretch, and then your, then there's your, uh, then there's auger whatever, so there's auger range, auger secret, but basically there's an auger ver version of things that already exist, like, like reach. Mind you, it's a little bit less powerful, but it also has the addition of any energy spent to shields or whatever goes to abilities and da 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 whatever, <laughs> but, what do you call it? Um, this to me is like very, very much a poor man's version of the most Octavia builds where there's like a version of, uh, as a like premium stretch or whatever it's called, but it's like one of our, one of the things we just bought, it's like for critical damage. Oh, I didn't really look at that though. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't, it was it for guns? I didn't look at what that critical damage or critical chance thing was. There yeah, was for pistols. Yuck. <laughs> I did it not. It's fine. We needed some sort of thing. It's important that you just buy these when you can, I think. Uh, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> Shit. Well. Well. <laughs> live, live and learn. Um, Octavia has now more range. Cannot wait to see and uh, do all that. But uh, this is the, the people that I chose to... A syndicate with um, it is our boys the Red Veil who seem like real fucked up individuals but if you go to visit don't visit the Red Veil offer offerings mods baby it seems like they sell all the goods all the good goods for all of the Warframes also specific uh, variants of weapons so like again there's specific mods for Ash specific mods for so yeah, um, but the one that I really, really do want to get is for our boy, uh, Necros, which is somewhere here. Is it an alphabetical, mayhaps? Dispoil, baby! That's the one that we really want, because it basically makes Necros, Necros. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's why I chose to go with him, because I needed some of these, but then there are also some other fun things that I cannot wait to play with. Um, like again, I don't know, um, but if there was anyone for, uh, a Noros... Does Noro seriously not have any? Oh, I thought all of them had some stuff. I guess not. It'd be cool to see if Noro's have like one that like changed one of his abilities to be where he could like summon forth a sand kingdom, you know, or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. You know, it'd be cool. It'd be some shit like that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for time. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, we are still trucking along with Warframe, piecing ourselves together. Um, again, a lot of it is waiting for that Barricadier bastard to finally summon himself so that I can see if he's brought me anything of value in the last three weeks. He hasn't really. Again, kind of regretting that I didn't grab that melee reach one because, I don't know, it's the only one that I've seen appear in other builds where it's like, hey, if you want to just have a fun time because this weapon does enough base damage, just use reach. And I'm like, well, my weapon doesn't deal enough base damage, but maybe when I got there one day, <laughs> it would be there. But yeah, he's not coming anywhere with the prime continuity or prime premium this or that, which is unfortunate. I was hoping for this week that would be the case, but now we have to wait another two weeks, which I don't know if I'm going to be here next t two weeks from now because games are coming out and I don't know, but hopefully I'll manage to get someone will remind me to get back in, in into Warframe because he's selling one of those things. Anyways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Subscribe button below. We as well as two videos from right. I appreciate you greatly for your time and goodbye.